Well, my, my question, Mr. Chair, for this March 21st meeting would be, will there be some type of communication coming out from Scott or whomever so that each of us knows what we should cover? Like the suggestion was actually break it down into the four areas so that they can't say, no, you can't all speak about the same thing. Well, we're not. We have different areas. Uh, will there be some communication we should expect from that, or how do we want to handle that? Well, we can try to put that together, but if that's going to be their position, they're going to say, well, it's all about, about the issue quality. of water quality, and the sewage are it's all the same subject, mm -hmm. well, I don't know if they should talk to it. Really so I think we need to be prepared for it anyway. Yeah. Let's, let's be prepared yeah. for it. And, you know, hopefully it'll be a, you know, an environment that we're, we're welcome there to, to, uh, to speak and to address our concerns and uh, hopefully get some interaction, you know, with, with, with the council. Yeah, I mean, I think if we all just tell our own personal story from our own county, but the ask at the very end should be consistent, and that's what we want to dialogue. Well, that's what we need to. We want to dialogue with public right. officials. So, uh, I mean, a simple ask of we want to workshop with, with our board and then so that we can come up with solutions and explore funding options and that's where we're done a lot of citizens so far to talk about hospitals. Now, the meeting's at 5.30, but I would suggest that if we can meet and be there by 5, where we can we meet together and uh, comments at the end of the meeting? It is. How long does those <coughs> It depends on the agenda. They have some that are like 20 minutes. They have others that are two hours long. We'll have to see what's on the agenda. Um, I have another suggestion for an ask. When do they publish that agenda? Uh, usually towards the end of the pre preceding week. Okay. Okay. They used to test do water quality tests weekly that drops back to monthly it'd be best to ask them go back to weekly would you um, and there needs to be more testing in Florida which I hope that bill covers because uh, Merrily found out that DEP tests at the state line bacterial tests but only monthly and they're four months behind posting it so it's not terribly useful we need weekly and at more locations. So that's, a, that's a Florida issue. It is a Florida issue. A, a Georgia issue, you heard about the fire college, the same chemical spilled from Moody Air Force Base, which in a report in 2016 said it contaminated the creek that runs directly into the Withacoochee. And, and I guess that goes right back to what I mentioned a while ago about funding. Mm -hmm. Properly funding DEP to, to, to be able to do these things. Because uh, Scott just mentioned the fact that, yeah. that it's all you know, personnel and funding to do that. And, and I think it's important for our constituents you know, that the, these areas are routinely and often tested. As you mentioned, I hear you have results, you know, how much like stuff's going on that really doesn't get the public side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Next meeting, uh, March, uh, our next meeting is scheduled for March 28th. Uh, I have a conflict. Uh, we have our vision in 2030. 